folks welcome back to the channel <coughs> now uh, my last video I, I sat back in and, and made an announcement that we've got something big that we just purchased and it was gonna be here in the next three four days so anyhow this is Thursday now and we just got a phone call that they're on their way to deliver the big package now one of my subscribers nailed it. I mean, he guessed exactly what it was. So, folks, we are looking at, I just purchased another 142cc big bore kit, and I did it for a reason. Um, one, I have a friend here that uh, is thinking about putting it on his bike. So I, I thought, you know, it's, I'm also thinking about purchasing a second one, and if I do, I definitely want that kit on there so what we're gonna do is take every one of the pieces that are inside the kit and write down the part numbers in this book and we're gonna see if we can't go out and purchase those pieces one at a time which means there's a real good chance every one of you in in the US and the UK or US and Australia that want one of these kits can do the same thing um, I examined my empty boxes and empty packages and all that stuff and here's the things that are are Honda parts the base gasket and the head gasket are Honda parts the fuel injector is a Honda part and now here's the clincher the cylinder is a Honda part um, with part numbers and the whole bit now I couldn't get all the numbers off of the stuff that I had because uh, the mechanic kind of ripped things apart to get it out, but I do know that those were all um, Honda parts. Now the piston and the rings, are they're a reputable company here in Thailand and they make pistons for all kinds of small bore bikes. So the piston and the rings, now I'm not real sure if this Honda cylinder is not a stock 125cc and they bore out the cylinder to fit this piston and that's why we're going to go ahead and purchase all these pieces separately to find out because if I need to take and get it get it or bored out I need to be able to tell you guys that's exactly what this is so anyhow I'm sitting here waiting for it to show up um, when it does we'll unbox everything and write numbers down and the whole bit and that'll probably be it for the video but uh, I'm sure you all want to know what this kit is made out of. And no, I am not going to be shipping kits from Thailand to the U.S. But if you've got the part numbers and it's ma majority of it is stock Honda parts, then yes, you'll be able to, uh, should be able to get the parts right there in the U.S. Now, the guy just showed up, so we'll go ahead and show him driving in and then uh, I'll go ahead and unbox the the big board kit so here he comes there he goes you know I've kind of figured he would have stopped I was you know like the only throng around here so sorry cap Amway That doesn't look like my kit, honey. Oh, oh. How you much? Wait, another one come for you. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Crap. Unless you guys are all wanting to buy some Amway stuff, which my wife does on a regular basis, um, that wasn't it. So, hey, we're just gonna wait. Okay. So. We'll wait. Okay, folks. I think this may be the real deal. If not, it's just going to be the second truck through That's here in the cool. last 30 minutes. Huh? That is your baby. That's mine, Mama says. So, here he comes. There he goes. This is exciting. 
YouTube okay? Okay? Okay. Yeah, that's it. And just set it right up here. Three thousand fifty three thousand and how much? Or YouTuber? Chanel? Uh, retired Oki living in Thailand. Thai Oki? Re retired Oki living in Thailand. Motorcycle parts. Oh. For that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Thao Viu. Yeah, Chai. Kap Kung Kha. Kap Kung Kha. Alright. <coughs> We'll go back here and see what all's what. <clears throat> I don't know exactly why they didn't put this in a Honda box like they did last time, but we're gonna find out exactly what's all in here. So, anyhow, I'm gonna sit down, get a knife, and cut this box open, and then we'll look at all the parts and give you some numbers and a whole bit. So, you guys, if you want, you can order this stuff direct from the people that manufacture and the piston is piston and, and rings are maybe art manufacturing company here in thailand so anyhow let me get this open talk to y'all later <clears throat> okay folks i've unboxed everything and written down a bunch of numbers and all that good stuff so i think you're gonna like what we've got but here's the cylinder with the piston slid in it, it's nice and loose, it's not tight. Wrist pin and, and C clips, they do not have a manufacturer's number or anything like that, but I would assume they are art piston stuff and probably came in this box. This RIK Riken set of rings are made by the same company that makes the piston. So it's uh, Art Sienna Piston Company. The fuel injector is pure Honda. I will include all the numbers in the description for this video uh, for everything here. The head gasket is Honda. The base gasket is Honda. The cylinder came in a Honda box with a Honda number on it. So I'm assuming, and so did the other one, and they got the matching numbers on it. So I'm assuming this is a Honda cylinder. But on the Honda cylinder, it states KYZ and then the 124 cubic meters, meters tripled. Okay, so anyhow, it's 125 cc, 124 cc. Um, with the piston inside, it fits in there nice and nice and sweet and all this stuff. But I wanted to show you the stock piston on a CT125 with this cylinder. Now, if you sat back here and look at this, okay, see the difference? That's evidently 17 cc's difference. So, and it's sta stamped on the top of it, KYZ, which is exactly, evidently they've got 
evidently this engine is a K-A-Z-E because I've got numbers like crazy off of all this stuff and that's what they're saying. So anyhow, if you notice on the top of the piston, it's got dished out spots for uh, the valves, which is telling me they're gaining a lot of this kind of like a stroke. So they've made the piston taller because on the stock piston, there are not cutouts for the valves. So they're making the piston taller, which is like stroking the engine. I'd say just a couple of millimeters or something like that. But they're also making it bigger around. So that's where they're getting the 17cc in increments. And I just got a, <coughs> a message from one of the subscribers that... Uh, got a 142 cc kit I'm, I'm assuming he's from somewhere here in Thailand and he got a 142 cc kit put it on the bike and and it seized up on it so I can't stress enough that if you're gonna put a, a bigger bore kit on on your CT 125 that you need to break it in gently I don't know how this guy broke his in but I've got 1,300 kilometers on mine and absolutely no problems. I'm going to be taking it into my mechanic here uh, this next week, having changed the oil on it. And uh, I want to look at the oil at that time, and I'm going to have him adjust the valves on it. And that's it. Everything on this bike is, is running smooth and, and perfect. So I can only think that possibly he might have gone out there and just started riding it before it had gone through some heat cycles. And I can't stress enough how important a heat cycle is when you're talking a steel liner and an aluminum piston. They don't heat up and contract at the same rate. So you need to get them hardened up to where they're going to be at the size they're going to be at when they're hot and when they're cold. So they don't seize up. So that's why I do a heat cycle run for it takes me all day to do it but I do six heat cycles and the heat cycle is something simple it's take it out run it three four five kilometers bring it back in it got good and good and operating temperature and just let it cool down to where it's cool I mean the engine feels like it is when you walk out there in the morning to start it up and then go out and do the same thing but I do six of those before I ever go out and and put any time on the on the on the machine on the engine and I don't go out and rot it for at least a couple of hundred kilometers so you're talking um, maybe 150 miles okay get, get give it a chance to to break everything in and then go out there and have some fun um, that's what I did with mine but this is the kit this is everything that's that comes in it I'm gonna go ahead and order everything that's on this kit and see if this cylinder is not <laughs> exactly what I think it is. A cylinder they've they've gone in and bored the sleeve at because the stock one the stock one doesn't look that way. And I've got the I've got the stock cylinder right here also. And um, It doesn't look like there's enough room on this sleeve and, and there's not there's not enough room on this sleeve to have gone and punched out this sleeve to the size of this piston because this piston is a lot a lot bigger than this one here so but it may be a it may be a bored out sleeve. I, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So this will continue, but at least this is giving you guys some idea on on, on what it takes to, to, to get this kit set together. And I can tell you right now, the people that put this kit out will not ship overseas. They won't do it, and I I personally cannot do it. 
okay my visa to stay here in Thailand does not allow me to do a job so um, and that would be import export that would be a job and I don't know anybody that does the import and export so anyhow I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, hey watch the end of it because I'm gonna put my GoPro on the back of my bike and not kick it with my foot this time and make a little minute and a half run so talk to y'all later so folks I know the big question is why why did you go out and buy a second 142 cc big bore kit when you already have one and it's installed on your bike and you're happy with it I've got a couple reasons oh yeah question number two <laughs> if you've already got one on your bike and you bought a second one why in the hell are you gonna buy each of these pieces individually to have a third one I've got an answer for all those one I have so much money I need to spend it on something no that's not it um, I'm like a lot of senior citizens okay I live off of my Social Security check and I'm just fortunate enough to live in a country that my Social Security checks go about two times farther three times farther than they do in the US but so that has nothing to do with why I did this what I reason I did this is one I have a friend here in Thailand uh, Daniel he's been in a couple of my videos he has a, a red 125 CC or CT 125 so um, he's, he's contemplating putting a kit in his bike and now there's some issues on why he's not doing it and we're gonna we're gonna work together on on curing those issues so I have an outlet for the for the kit there uh, number two I'll show you some pictures of a vehicle of a CT125 that is available for sale here in Thailand currently this bike and it's 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 sharp and if you're not from the south part of the US maybe this doesn't appeal to you but I really like that bass fishing type of scheme they put on this bike and this bike is is currently for sale here in Thailand at a reasonable price now it was also shown in a huge trade share or fair that uh, was held I believe in Bangkok and it it, it showed uh, literally a couple dozen CT 125s that people had modified the crap out of and this was one of the bikes that was in that uh, I'm, I'm seriously contemplating purchasing this bike and it, it would be great to have um, my Diablo Special as my dirt off-road bike and it would be really neat to have this uh, bass fishing blue one as my road bike in other words if I'm gonna go on adventure rides it's only strictly gonna be on pavement this would be a great bike for it I don't have to do near the stuff that I did to the brown one to to be able to handle the kind of stuff that I want to do um, and as for the third you know buying the pieces for the third kit folks that's strictly for my subscribers who have asked so many questions about the big bore kit if I can give you guys part numbers to order this stuff you should be able to put your own kit together and at a decent price instead of paying somebody over here to buy it all and then add in their profit put in shipping fees to somebody in the US or Australia that is a middleman who adds his profit in and then his shipping fees to wherever you all live and then you've got a, a, a big board kit that is extremely expensive so 
this this uh this issue is not over this this is there will be a continuation of this and i'm i'm going to tell you what it took for me to get things to line out perfect and you should probably look at the same situation before you go in and decide to do this because it's not cheap to put a big bore kit on this bike even even living here it wasn't really cheap but Oh man, it, it livened up the bike like no tomorrow, and it's so well worth it. It's especially, especially if you if you watch the end of this video, you'll see the the fun factor with this bike and the kit and everything I put in it to do this. So, talk to y'all later.